What's up dudes, it's definitely Monday, I'm definitely Zero, my neighbour is definitely hoovering above my head, and I'm definitely trying some new intro spiel. This is Dirt Rally, this is my apology for Grand Prix World going to bollocks and the RimWorld video not quite working out. Good news though, I've managed to actually save the RimWorld video so that'll be going up at some point, and I will be trying Grand Prix World again on Wednesday. I'll keep you guys appraised. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be terrible at this. We're going to start a brand new career, and unlike the F1 games, I've put no time at all into this. I've got a total sum of something like two hours. Every racing sim or game I've ever played has always been open wheel um, for the most part. I did touch Colin McRae Rally as a, as a kid, but obviously these are leagues apart. <coughs> Excuse me, still a bit sick. And so... What we're going to do is mock me being terrible. Um, we're going to start in the 1960s. Now, see, the obvious choice here would be to go Mini Cooper S, wouldn't it? Because that's what everyone does. But I'm a sucker for Italian cars. So we're going to go for the Lancia. Just because I've seen a million playthroughs of this game now, and everyone seems to start with the Mini. So, yeah, we'll purchase that shit. Let's pick a good... I like that livery, actually. Yeah, we're going red, baby. Um, that leaves us with 10,000. Which I guess... Are we... Oh, we've got an empty slot, so we've got a crew chief. Which we already have, and then now we need someone who knows what they're doing. Um, nah, I'm guessing the more expensive they are, the better they are, although it doesn't seem to necessarily be the case. I like the cut of your jib, Fujishima. I have no idea if you're any good, but you are hired. See, look, we all get through life much faster if that's how job interviews were actually dealt with, let's be honest. Right. So. See, I, I did actually toy with the idea of doing um, the hill climb, because I'm terrible at it. Like, genuinely terrible, but I thought... It'll probably get old really quickly, me just swearing and driving off a cliff. So we're going to go do the Open Rally Championship. And just for extra suspense, I'm not going to bother doing a shakedown. And I'm not toying with setups either. I think the best thing I can do is, as I did with the F1 games, you know, obviously, the like, F1 2010, F1 2011, F1 2012, when Simon and I did our first season, I was completely and utterly terrible. And they always say the best way to get fast is to first go slow. So we're going to try being painfully slow, but on the track rather than interestingly fast and in a tree. So no thank you set up, no thank you shakedown. Let's begin our career. That is a good looking car. As with F1, I'm going to drive from this view because it's just better. Two, one, go. That's it for 80. And now to embarrass myself. Right five, 80 down. I have to say, it's very weird driving anything like this and talking without having Simon reply in his inimitable way. I have no idea what any of these numbers mean. It's very jittery. I mean, obviously, with the F1 with the F1 sims, you're kind of used to the thing being glued, and this feels very, very loose. Oh, which way is the track going? This way. See, he's saying don't cut because he's obviously been watching the F1 season. He knows what we're both like. So, I hope you're all actually enjoying the F1 playthrough over on higher plane right, games. Six, six, six. Um, I've been having an absolute blast with it, like I always do. And um, this is the first season, actually, that things have really heated up. Let's just find out exactly how embarrassingly slow I'm being at the moment. I feel like I'm on the limiter all the time. Keep out of what? Oh, that. 19 seconds, that's good. That's pretty average. Um, <clears throat> this is the first season of the F1, actually, where things have genuinely heated up. Like, normally Simon and I have no rivalry at all. We're just there to talk Formula 1, have a bit of fun and everything. But, the, uh, if I don't kill myself here, uh, the new game 
with the extra physics and all the stuff that they've added in, just it really has brought out the competitive streak in both of us because now any time you spend on setup actually achieves something. So immediately after yesterday we recorded um, China, uh, which I'm not going to spoil for you, but this is turning out to be a really good season actually. I'm quite looking forward to the later races, particularly Monaco will be a non-miss. But, um, oh, this looks a bit treacherous. Um, but immediately after we finished recording for China, we, um, I believe we both went straight into testing offline individually for, for Bahrain because China was the first race where Simon had done setup prep work and I had not, and it really shows through. And what's been particularly interesting is has and been seeing how baby. we're getting Malaysia has been the only example so far, but you know there have been other cases that we don't record for you. Well, what you're seeing is that um, God, that time is embarrassing. When we do set up work independently, like we never share setups, really. Um, you see how we both set up. To sort of complement our driving styles, but it often ends in unintended results. So, what you saw in um, Malaysia, I think it was, oh no, it was Australia actually, where the the setup was actually fantastic for qualifying, but completely terrible for managing tyres. And then there was a bit, a bit more of a balance struck in Malaysia, but there was more to come in the car, and you could definitely see that I think on the quality lap. So. I actually think Bahrain, without overhyping it too much, is going to be probably the highlight of the season so far, simply from the standpoint that we're both going to be super competitive <laughs> with each other, obviously, not on an AI scale. I mean, the problem is that car really does suffer um, from a power deficit, and it was particularly noticeable, I feel, in, in China, and what you see from Simon's onboard is when he was in the wake of it. What is going on here? Why? I think I may have damaged my car in some way, which is familiar territory for me. Right five long. Now, change of subject for a minute. If you haven't picked up this game, I can definitely recommend it. I've only put two hours into it, but I've loved absolutely every one. And part of the reason I've not put much time into it was that I wanted to do a sort of from scratch learn to play playthrough with you guys which I'll be spending more time actually talking about this game as we go go on rather than crashing into a people carrier and then um, that my old machine wouldn't run it because obviously there's a lot more detail to render over distance than you would find in the F1 games and this would drop flames that you wouldn't believe well that's a healthy margin one minute five god knows where that leaves us Fifth. To be honest, I actually expected worse. You're probably wondering what the hell that name is. Um, obviously, it's not necessarily wise to put your normal name all over the internet, usually. Um, so that's just the name in Gaelic. So that's a bit of entertainment for you. Um, what was our gap like? Uh, we were fairly square in the middle there between fourth and sixth. Um, I hope that's Mikasala's brother. I really want to believe it is. Um, We've got a lot of time to make up in the next stage, but I think this is going to be a particularly interesting adventure together, and next time out we'll be talking how the car feels a bit more, how it's handling, what I'm picking up from uh, the game. I would, <clears throat> I would still say at the outset, if you haven't got it, you should pick it up. It's going to be cheaper while it's still on early access, and it's... It's lacking content still somewhat, but it is constantly being improved, and I'm genuinely feeling that the um, the improvements are coming thick and fast with this one, so I feel fairly confident that if you've been craving a more detailed rally game than the Dirt series has been previously, uh, a bit something a bit less arcadey, something a bit more for the genuine motorsport fan, then you could do worse than spending your money on this. Um, but do bear in mind, even though it is on the older Ego engine, like the previous um, Formula 1 games were, until this latest one, it doesn't run so well comparatively. Anyway, 
I do appreciate you joining me as always. Um, round three of the Higher Plane Games co-op goes out, we believe, on Wednesday, but you know how real life gets in the way. Uh, Rimworld will be up shortly after this, I hope, if everything goes well, but you know what it's like. And I pray to God you can join me for some Grand Prix World on Wednesday, where we will, on our fourth attempt, qualify for the fucking Argentinian Grand Prix. And then we will do the Argentinian Grand Prix, and then all of us will move on together as if this embarrassing charade never happened. Thanks again. See you soon.